In this video, we're going to be talking about the quickest, easiest, effective and realistic way to remove bags from under the eyes. Now, bags from under the eyes can be divided into two things. Number one, the dark skin tone and number two, the wrinkle that goes along with it. Now here's the thing, we need to treat both of them separately. But before we begin, before we do anything, I gotta tell you something up front. Bags from under the eyes retouching, it's gonna be different for males and it's gonna be different for females. So in this tutorial, we're gonna cover both. So without any further ado, let's get started. So here we are in Photoshop and this image was donated by Andrew Vargas. He's an awesome photographer. To check more of his work, go ahead and check it out in Instagram. All right, so let's jump straight in. So as you can see, this is a picture of Fiona Wade and I, I'm, I'm sure Fiona is going to kill me after she watches this. Okay, so we want to remove the eye bags from under the eyes. Now, the first thing that you need to do, you need to make a duplicate of the background layer to see the before and after also to be on the safer side so that we have an original document safe in place. All right. So press Control J or Command J if you're using a Mac. Do that. This makes a duplicate. Also one of the other ways of making a duplicate is dragging it and dropping it on this duplicate thing. Okay. In the square thing. All right. So let's zoom in quite a bit. And now if you want to name it, let's name it iBags. All right. Take the patch tool. You see, there are a lot of ways of doing it, but I'm going to show you the way which I find the most effective. So stay tuned. All right. So select the patch tool and select the area with the eye bag. So just simply select the area. And okay. And drag it and drop it from the area which you want to sample from. There you have it. It's gone. Now make sure while you do this, make sure the patch is normal. Okay. And the diffusion is five. Now here's the thing. If you, I'll press control D. If you find the edges quite hard, as you can see in this image, the edge is quite hard. You can always go ahead and select this area and replace it with any other thing. But here's the thing. What is diffusion? Let's go back. Okay. Now diffusion softens the edges. The higher the diffusion, the more softer the edges will be. If the diffusion is one, as you can see, Control D, the edges are hard. If the diffusion is seven, seven is the maximum value for the diffusion, the edges would be soft. So in this image, I'm going to show you, uh, I'm going to keep the diffusion at five, which is the default value and it works pretty well. Now this is gone. Now press Control D. Now this has done a pretty good job, but it has already left some lines which we would like to remove. So select this area and there you go. It's done. And one other line that we would like to remove. Okay, there you go. Now it has replicated this point, this mole, if you say. So we can always just replicate that and it's gone. Even if the eye bags are gone, here's a problem. It has already left that dark skin tone. We will talk about how to remove it later, but first let's remove the other eye bag also. So select the area that you would like to remove, drag it and drop it on a skin texture that you want to replicate it with, that you want to replace it with. Okay. Place it. There it is. It's gone. Now, if you want to do some final, uh, some other more retouching, if you want to remove this line. Okay. Go ahead and do it. If you want to remove this line, go ahead and do it. All right. That's pretty much gone. Now that we have removed the wrinkles, it's time for us to remove the dark shades, lighten them. So I'm going to show you a tip that will literally blow your mind that you might have never heard of before. So let's jump straight in. Not literally, metaphorically, but let's, let's get back to work. Okay. So the first thing that you need to do, you need to make a copy of this eye bag slayer. To make a copy, control J, simple. Let's name it dark shades. You can name it anything, doesn't really matter. Press enter. Let's zoom in quite a bit and then select the clone stem tool. Okay. Now change the sample from current layer to current layer. Make sure it's in current layer and then change the blend mode to lighten. Okay. Usually it's on normal by default. Make sure you change them to lighten. Now let's zoom in and take a sample from a light skin tone area. Okay. For instance, if you want to replace this area with this kind of skin tone, pick from this kind of skin tone, pick from sample from this area. So all you need to do, you need to press and hold alter option and click on this area and just start painting on the area under the eye. Just do it. 
And as you can see the magic, the brush is only applying over the areas which are darker than the sampled area. Watch. It's not applying on the light areas. It's only applying on the areas which are darker than the sample area. Now this is too much and that's why we made a copy of this layer so that we can use the opacity slider. So let's do it for the other eye then we'll use the opacity slider. So this is the skin tone that we want to replace this area with. So sample this area, press and hold alter option, sample this area and just paint over here. Control Z. Don't go near the hair. There you go. Let's zoom in and let's do this carefully. Okay, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not doing a great job of doing this, but you take your time, okay? Now, let's zoom out. Now, opacity is our magic. Now, this is too much. I know this is too much, guys, but opacity is the magic now. Decrease the opacity until it looks normal. Now, this is too much. This is good. I think 25 would be a good number to be at. Okay, so we still need to work a little bit here and let's fix it quickly. Let's really, let's fix it. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller and there you go, it's fixed. Now let's make a group of both of these layers and let's take the before and after. So to make a group, press and hold control a command. Okay, and select both of these layers, control a command G. This makes a group. Let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. And let's play it like a zombie movie. Fiona is going to kill me if, if she watches this. You can also decrease the opacity of the group as a whole and to have a more natural look. Now, we are done with females. We are not going yet. We are done with females. Now we're going to look at male portraits. For male portraits, you need to keep in mind that wrinkles and textures are something that we males are very proud of and it's a sign of masculinity and you don't want to remove it. All you need to do, you have to fade it not remove it, okay? So as in this example, as you can see, let's zoom in quite a bit and all we have to do is that not remove, but fade it, okay? So you can see there's a mole which is a little distracting. So now here's the thing. Some people want their mole to be removed. Some people don't want them to be removed because it's a characteristic of their face. But here's what you can do. You can fade it, okay? So it's not jumping out of the photo. So to do that, let's make a copy of the background layer. I always do that. And then select the patch tool and we'll do the same. We'll select the mole. There you go. And Okay, this is a smart object. Again, this is a smart object. Make sure you convert this image into a raster object. So right click on it if it's not a raster. So right click, click rasterize layer and then let's replace it with something like this. It's totally gone. This is not fair. Now watch. This is important. To fade it, you have to do it just after you apply the patch to. So you need to press a shortcut. Control, Shift and F. If you're using a Mac, it's Command, Shift and F, okay? This opens up the Fade dialog box. Now, one of the other ways of doing it is going to Edit, Fade, Patch, Selection. Now, taking the opacity to zero brings it back completely. Now, taking the opacity to 100 increases the intensity of the effect by 100%. So, let's keep it somewhere in the middle where it's not jumping out of the photo but still there. Now this is good. 56 is good. Click OK. Control D. Now as you might already have guessed, we are just going to fade the wrinkles and the dark tones. Okay? We are not going to remove them, just reduce them. Okay? So let's zoom in quite a bit and select the area that you would like to fade. Select this area and replace it with this one. Now this is too much. Just after you do this, go to Edit. Fade Patch Selection or use the shortcut Control Shift F Command Shift F if you're using a Mac and decrease it. I think this 45 is okay. Now, there you go. Select the other eye, other eye bag actually and select an area of your choice and Control Shift F, decrease it, Control D. Okay, now that's pretty fine. Let's, let's look at the before and after. So this is the before, this is the after. Now, 
in this case there is no dark tone there's not so much of it so you might skip that step now there's a little bit of dark tones here you can take sample from here and you can change the blend mode of the clone stamp tool to lighten and you can do that so that's pretty much it for this video i hope you enjoyed it and i hope this was helpful and if this was make sure to give us a like and also don't forget to subscribe and not just subscribe click on that bell button so that you do